everybody. I said praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. Amen. Let's all stand to our feet. Amen. Let's stand to our feet. At this time, I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask everybody, please, from this point on, unless you're using, and I understand it's all good. Some people are charging their phones up. Others are doing this. Other, that's fine. But out of respect, not for me, but to the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. This is, watch this, out of respect for his house. Are you with me so far? Out of respect and honor, this is his time. This is his place. I want us all, unless you're using your phone for Bible verses later in the service, I don't want anybody, I want you to turn off your phones, put them away, turn them off. Amen. Amen. And if someone says, well, I need, I'm your, listen, this is God's time. We go to movie theaters, we do all this stuff, and we keep the phone away, you know, and this, this is for an hour and a half or so. Amen. Amen. And for some of us, let me say it like this. Let me say it like this. We want change. And we want breakthrough and we want to change things in our lives. Amen. Watch this. But whatever is important to you, you'll make time for. Amen. Some of us, listen to me very carefully. Listen to me very carefully right now. This is it. I'm saying. You have the opportunity here tonight. by the grace of God to leave this place not the same way you came in that's not just a nice thing to say or just the right that is real how many people want to leave out of this place not the way they came in amen so tonight um, let's make sure once again phones things like that put them away shut them down amen unless you're using it i get it to, as a bible and that's between you and the lord and if you're not using it as a bible and you're pretending to use it as a bible or something like that trying to get all spiritual while well, you know what i mean i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna pray right now that god destroys that phone so when you walk out you won't you yeah that the thing will just that will shut down break and never work again that'll just blow up in your hand and you're like oh my god and you're like okay and you'll run to this altar amen because like, okay, do you need another sign from God? Amen. Because that'll be, a, okay. Amen? Amen. Praise the Lord. Are you glad you're here tonight? Yeah. All right. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this night. We are excited for the opportunity, the privilege that you have given us to gather together in your house to lift up your name. What an honor. What a privilege. We thank you tonight for your grace. We thank you tonight for the opportunity, for your mercy, to not leave this place the way we came in. You're an awesome God. You are an awesome God. Full of love, mercy, and grace, and much patience. Tonight, we pray. Now, one of us to walk out the same way we came in. Your word says, blessed are they that hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Lord, as your people have come, calling upon your name, you are faithful. You are not a man that you should lie. If you said it and we believe it, that settles it. So tonight, I thank you for touching every single heart in this room. Heal your people. Deliver your people. Set your people free. Bring families together. Remove mountains. Make the crooked places straight. Heal for your glory. Physically and spiritually. We thank you for your word that by your stripes we're not going to be healed. We are healed in the name of Jesus. And we believe in this place tonight that with you, all things are possible. How many people believe that here tonight? Start to thank the Lord at this time for the all, for the all, 
for the all for his glory amen come on now hallelujah amen. praise the lord praise god and can you say you guys amen? Get ready amen. praise god we got some champions in the house y'all know what it means to be a champion we ain't champions because we're like awesome or anything you know what i'm saying we're champions because we got jesus amen. we overcame because he overcomes you know what i'm saying so that's what makes us great, and that's why we're champions. So we just want to kick it off with a track. I know some of you guys have heard of it. Uh, it's called Champions. So, yeah, let's do it. Do you guys know it? You guys can sing along with us. Come to church. We can have some fun. You know what I'm saying? Clap your hands. Victorious, I'm defeated. The world. We're champions. It's not the way you start, but how you finish. And we Come on. finish. Yeah. Oh, You're champions. It's not how you start. You know it's how you finish. If you're down with him, let's get in it to win it. My God said I'm a starter. No more riding the bench. Soldier, I'm a champion. I'm out here doing it again. I used to be that tool. I got rid of that wrench. Now I'm Acting a fool for him Don't you feel that Holy Spirit? Don't you feel that Holy Ghost? I'm on fire for him Like the Arizona Rose Cause you know my God He loves us the most Man, he blinded our sins So we can have the most Now we debt free Three nails in the cross I got that insurance plan now He's my boss Cause when things go wrong He's a phone call away When things go right He's a phone call away So keep on fighting When you fall seven times back up he still loves you for a lifetime come on Bread for this, my Savior bled for this, and I'ma do it for His glory in heaven. Is where my treasure is. Faith on high, like the tip of Mount Everest. Everest. Guys by my side, then really who gon' stand against? Back against the fence in this path, I'm traveling treacherous. Enemy, the devil is trying to see that we don't exist. But I'm like Rocky, knock me down and I yeah. get up again. My God, He never loses, so it's safe to say we always win. We free men, no longer slaves to sin. All those demons run and flee when they see saints come marching in. All those trials and tribulations, man, we face them with a grin. No matter what the situation, greater is he that's within. Uh, yeah, and they try hard to beat us, but we cannot be defeated. We victors through Christ Jesus, and we gon' keep on believing. Fighting that good fight of faith until we stop breathing in our hearts. Stop beating, come on. Yeah. Praise God, guys. Let's give it up for the praise and worship team. Come on, put your hands together. Turn around. Blessed be your name in the land is streams of abundance flow. Blessed be your name. And blessed be your name when I'm found in the desert place. Though I walk through the wilderness, blessed be your name. Every blessing. Every blessing you pour out, out turn back to praise. Darkness closes in, Lord, still I will say, blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be your name, blessed be the name of the Lord, blessed be your glorious name, and blessed be your name. 
Come on. Every hand lifted up. Come on. Worthy of all the glory and all the honor. Worthy. Come on. church in the city come on your power and love as we sing holy 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 to see you high and lifted up shining in the light of your glory pour out your power and love as we sing holy 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 Thank you for your presence in this place. Your holy presence. Your church, your people. Pray your will to be done tonight. Touch everyone watching at home right now. As they've put you first. I pray on this night that you will touch your people. Your word says, seek first the kingdom of heaven and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Tonight, let the all start to become a reality in people's lives. The all, as they have put you first, as they are doing it your way, and stopping everything and lifting up your name come into service here or at home right now is doing it your way for you say forsake not the gathering of the saints now some are not able to make it here but they've taken the time to join in spirit from wherever they're at around the world and i pray right now in the name of you wherever they might be bless encourage strengthen and let the all and all these things shall be added on to you become a reality starting this night and becoming ridiculous into the new year exploding into the new year increasing in the new year that your name will be glorified and that they'll never forget this altar for your glory in Jesus' name. You may be seeing the presence of the Lord. Just for a second, I'm gonna, we're going to... Um, The Bible talks about a man in the New Testament by the name of Zacchaeus. And Jesus was going through was passing through the town where Zacchaeus lived in. The Bible says that Zacchaeus 
climbed a sycamore tree to get a look at Jesus. Jesus responds by the actions of Zacchaeus by doing something that nobody else did. Now, he was a short man. And because he was short, and this was one of his liabilities, it pushed him and propelled him to climb a tree so he can get a glimpse of Jesus. So his liability caused him to do something. Now, you understand your liability can cause you to do some bad things, but we can also use our liabilities to push us and to help us to do the right thing. Actually, our liabilities, when we respond or give it to the, to the hands of God, can actually become a stepping stone to take us to where we need to go for turnaround, breakthrough, increase, victory, to fulfill God's purpose and assignment in our life. Okay, that's not where I'm going. Watch this. So his liability caused him to climb a tree, the Bible says. As a byproduct of that, Jesus, as he's walking through, stops and looks at him and says, come down, I'm coming to your house tonight. The Bible says that Zacchaeus, that salvation came to his household on that day. You understand that the greatest miracle of all is salvation, right? So in other words, a huge miracle took place as a byproduct, as a byproduct of Zacchaeus capturing the attention of Jesus. Without faith, it's impossible to please him. You know, we capture the attention of Jesus when we worship, when we praise him. When we come to church and we're serious, we don't come to church for other things. I'll just leave that alone. His liability actually became his asset because it caused him to do something he would have never done. It separated him from the crowd and salvation came to his house. Look at someone say, think about that. But he didn't allow his liability to hold him back. Or let me say this, a victim mentality. He didn't allow, oh, I'm the victim. If it wasn't because of this and if it wasn't because of that, I wouldn't be where I'm at. I'm a victim. And yes, there's been some stuff that's happened to you and me in this room and watching at home that was out of our control. I'm not, make, I'm not minimizing that here tonight. But there's a certain place and a time if we have to move forward, that we cannot continue to park in a victim mentality because we'll never move forward. And it will steal our greatness, our purpose that God has in our lives. Let me insert this. We are not victims, but we are victors through Christ Jesus who strengthens us. I said you are not a victim. You are a victim if you choose to be a victim. Shout, I'm not a victim. He could have made so many excuses on that day. He knew Jesus was passing through. Because, well, I'm short. The crowd, I can't look over them. Because that was his liability. He was a short man. And it was not, it was, it was to the extreme. It was, it was an issue in his life. Let me put it this way. He's the one that would be walking down the street and people would, make some comments about has anybody been there before Amen. but
but he heard Jesus was walking through, passing through. And he started to look around and say, okay. So his liability actually caused him. It caused him to start looking for opportunities. You understand what an opportunity and what a privilege it is that God has given you and me here tonight. Oh, I'll just stop right there. Oh, by the way, he is passing through. I said he's passing through right now. And let me say like this. He's, he's, he has stopped right now. Ha! What do you mean he has stopped? Because when two or more gather in his name, he's there. He's not just passing through. He's here right now. You understand? The church isn't the four walls. The church is you and me. He's not passing through. He's here right now. The question is, let me get back to that. Look at somebody, he's going to get back to that question. So Zacchaeus is like, okay, he's here. I, I, how, but I'm, I can't see over everybody. So he starts looking around. Opportunity, 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 opportunity. The opportunity here tonight is this. You live in a nation with freedom and liberty where you can come and worship the Lord with no, with no, with no, um, fear of being attacked, no fear of being blown up, no fear of to be able to express yourself. You, you live in the greatest nation or with freedom and liberty to come and lift up his name, to, to, to call upon his name. Where other places you have to be careful or you can get killed. Let's just talk about the opportunity that's been given to you and me right now. The opportunity to position ourselves here tonight. To allow him to flex his muscle on your behalf. The opportunity, like for some, as I was talking to my brother, you're only allowed right now because of your process, one time to come to church or to be left to come here, right? What an opportunity. Oh, you didn't hear me. We could focus on what about the other six days, or we could focus on this night. Woo! How many would love to be in your shoes here tonight? How many would love the opportunity to have another opportunity to call upon his name? How many would love the opportunity to get it right once again? Because some don't have that opportunity anymore because they're not breathing anymore. No, for some another chance to get it right opportunity opportunity now he could have gotten into conversations big crowd around there Pet Jesus is passing through town he's passing through he could have gotten caught up in Running into an old friend. What's up, Charlie? Now Jesus is, now remember Jesus is here. What's going on? How's, how's your day? What's going, what have you been up to, you know? Oh, let me tell you. Oh, I met this, oh, really? Wow, wow. You, I met this person. Oh, this girl was unbelievable. <laughs> was she? He's like, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so, so, so here we are. So he could have, what I'm trying to say is, now while we're talking, He's gone. He's, we just missed the opportunity. See, some of you right now, what I'm trying to say, because I'm not trying to, this isn't the, I'm just trying to, before we go any further, are you going to miss your opportunity tonight? No, some of you already are this close to missing it. Did you just say what, I, did I just say that? Some of you in this room right now, this close to missing your miracle. opportunity the creator of heaven and earth two or more come together in his name he's here we're breathing we're alive in church to hear his word and i'm talking to charlie about and he's telling me about some girl he met some woman 
Who cares? While the word's going forth? Are you kidding me? Look at somebody. Are you kidding me? This is God's time. You, you think, you think, you think, that's great. And there's a time and a place because maybe that's a future person. I don't, yeah, I don't know if he's met anybody. I'm just saying, this is pretend. Look at somebody. This is pretend. This is pretend. But you think the person you met is going to heal your body, deliver you, set you free, turn it around, give you a new start, forgive you of your sins? is here tonight and you're alive you have an opportunity so he sees a tree he didn't get any conversation basically say man keep the notes to yourself keep the conversations so, I, I, I'm not here for you I'm here for God I, I'm, I'm here to see Jesus I, I heard about him and I'm here to I want, I want to see Jesus I don't know how well, but I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to get a little. So he starts coming. See, if he gets busy with the temporary, what's seen as temporary, what's unseen as everlasting. There's a time and a place. You got to, someone's always like, praise the Lord. I'm, I got to move on, amen. I'm here. I'm not here to, I need a miracle. I, I need help. I need to learn something. I, I, I don't want to. Be in the same place that I was when I walked in this place. I, I, I'm tired of going around the same circle, the same cycle, and seeing no result. The same result over and over and over. Insanity doing the same thing over. Doing the same thing. Doing the same thing. Same people. Oh, there's Willie again. Same people. Why? Because I'm doing the same thing. We're getting the same old, same people, same people, same people. Praise the Lord. There's God. Same people. There's Luis. Same circle. Same circle. If I want to see something different, something to change, I got to do something different. Why? I'm seeing different people because I just did something different. If I were to continue doing the same thing, I would keep on seeing the same people. But now I'm seeing different faces, different people. God did something different. So, see, if we want to see a different result, we got to do something different. change I'm tired of going around the same thing doing the same thing isn't anybody just a little tired and you think it's going to change it's only going to get worse if you keep on doing something that's all that's 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 manifesting disaster in your life you've already been there done it so why do you think it's going to change if you keep on doing the same thing if you keep on running with that same crowd if you keep on going to that neighborhood if you're going to that house in that relationship What? Really? Who's going to get a little upset and say enough is enough? With our, with our bad selves, thinking we're all that. We're all that. Do I need to break this down? How, how smart were you and how smart was I when we end up in trouble, locked up, and we still have an attitude. And that's part of the problem for some people in this room. You still have your pride, and it's stealing your future. And the Bible says before a man's fall comes pride. 
What do you have to be prideful for? For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Apart from him, we can do nothing. But with him, we can do all things. Look at someone and say, lose the pride. Really? And all you're doing is allowing the enemy, the devil, steal, continue to steal from you over and over and over. So excuse me tonight. Someone's got to have a look. This is what you, some of you need in this place. And you watch it. You need a excuse me. You need an excuse me in you. And in the next service, you need to come with an excuse me in you. What do I mean? When you walk in and someone's trying to take your attention away from the things of God and your preparation for the word and for the things of God, they're going to help you change the routine and get you out of some stuff and get you into some stuff that's right. You got to have a little excuse me. Appreciate you, love you, but excuse me. This is God's time, and I've been given an opportunity. You got to have an excuse me tonight. Some of you right now need to say, Excuse me. You know that's right. So he goes up. Zacchaeus in the Bible says he finds a sycamore tree. Sycamore tree. Sycamore tree. Now he doesn't get to do that because he doesn't spot one if he's busy or being pulled away from things that have no. Because what I don't know about you, but I don't know about myself. In years past, the only one that can help me out of some of the things that I was going through. Now God uses people, but when it's all said and done, if God doesn't step in. I wouldn't be here right now. So we've got to have an excuse me and start to look for the opportunity. Then grab the opportunity. And he did. He found a tree. And he pressed in a little bit more. Not allowing anybody to get in the way. He wanted to see and get a glimpse of Jesus. So no matter where you're at, what you're going through, what your past, what your liabilities might be, here it is. You have an opportunity to not miss Jesus tonight. I said no matter what you've done, how much you've done of it, what your past has been about, what your liabilities have been about, you have a chance tonight to use your liability as a stepping stone and, uh, and, 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 and to help you propel you, your liability to propel you to the altar, to propel you to the feet of Jesus, to propel you to the Lord, to propel you to your breakthrough, to propel you to your victory, to propel you to your healing, to propel you to a relationship with him. Amen. Climbs a sycamore tree. I'm doing this because I didn't wear a belt. <laughs> and I knew when I was leaving the house, I got shit, put a belt on. I put a belt on, and if I had my wife there, because my wife's with the, her family time with, the, with her sisters, because they're doing a thing where they used to get together and pray on. She calls. She's like, you know, I'm over here, and they're in Buckeye, you know, and with, with her sisters and her, her mom that's with the Lord. And her mom, they would all get together at this time and do this, you know. And I'm like, no, just. She's like, yeah. And my other sister got in late. I go, no, you guys enjoy it tonight. You know, this is this is this is you know, you haven't had a chance to have everybody together like this. And anyway, so what I'm trying to say is, if I, she was at the house before we left, I would have said, you know, something about the bell, and then she would have reminded, hey, did you get the bell? But she wasn't there, so that so it's her fault. So I'm saying. So I'm saying. So I'm saying. So I'm saying. All I'm saying is this. He climbs a tree. He had a liability. He used, but his liability, he could have sat there, put his head down. He got, there's so many distractions. So many things could have happened, but he used his liability to do something. In other words, it's separate actually it separated him from the rest of the group because I believe if he was just normal and average he would have been with the rest of them in the crowd but Jesus stopped and got and and and, and, and spoke to Zacchaeus and said come down from there I'm coming to your house correct do I got that right do I got the story right I don't have my Bible on it I just I'm just kind of 
and he was the one that had the liability the tree separated him his liability actually became a blessing in his life why because he didn't allow anybody else to get in the way because his heart was to get a glimpse of Jesus so I don't care what liability you walked in with what addiction you walked in with what you've done how much you've done it tonight there is a God that's in this place full of grace and mercy to forgive you, wash you, cleanse you, turn your life around and give you a new start. Are you in this place? Shout yes. Question is, are you going to keep your head down? Are you going to keep making excuses? Are you going to keep talking around like a victim? Or are you going to rise up and acknowledge and realize and recognize the opportunity that you have here tonight? Are you going to climb the tree that God's given you? So, so, Jesus says, you come down. He was passing through. All of them had the opportunity. Even the ones that didn't have a problem with their height. If they would have recognized who was walking through. Because if they knew, if we knew, get the revelation who's here tonight we're not sitting back we're trying to find that we're trying to find every tree we can climb in the spirit <laughs> to say jesus here i am here's a tree here's a tree you want to know a sycamore tree that's going to get his attention that's a tree that's a tree you know what another tree is? I don't care what you think or what the, I'm not here for you. I'm here. I'm not walking out the same way I came in. I don't care what anybody thinks or what they think I've done or where I've been. All, that, all I care about is I'm getting, I'm getting as close as I can. I'm calling upon his name because I'm tired of being tired and I'm not walking out the same way I came in. I need help. I need a miracle. I need a turnaround. And I'm not going to continue living like this. This is a tree. This is a tree. This is a tree that gets the attention of the king. That gets the attention of our Savior. The one that climbed the tree. The, in other words, let me say it like this. You know, caught the attention of Jesus with him was his faith, his heart, his cry. Oh, what did, he, what did he say in the Bible that he cried? Or is it doesn't. But that, that the tree represents his heart. The tree represents his faith. He might have not known all the scripture and all that, but he had some faith. He had, a, he had what he needed. In this place, you might say, well, I don't have that kind of faith. Yes, you do. You showed up tonight. That's faith. Amen. Now keep climbing the mountain. I mean, keep climbing the tree. Don't stop. Bible says, without faith, Hebrews chapter 11, without faith, it is impossible to please him. Without climbing the sycamore tree, it's impossible to please. Are you in this place? I'm talking, the tree, the tree, the tree, the tree, faith. Tree, faith, faith. It's, it's you calling out on the name of the Lord. It's you pressing in. Draw an eye to me and I'll draw an eye to you. Asking you shall receive. Seeking you shall find. Knock and it shall be open. Uh, the original Greek. Keep on asking and keep on seeking. Keep on knocking and, and God will respond. Keep on keeping on. Amen. The tree represents you calling upon his name and not stopping and pressing in. Yeah, the tree, the tree, the tree. And it says yeah, without faith it's impossible to please him. And then it goes on to say, but he is a rewarder. He's 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 a rewarder. Hebrews 11. He's a rewarder. He's Jesus is coming. Jesus is here. I'm here. Okay. Don't talk. I, excuse me. Ex, do you have an excuse me in you? Excuse me. Amen. Look at someone say, excuse me. Okay, okay, uh, uh, yeah, so I'm here, he's coming through, but you know what, I ain't going to stop, I can't miss this opportunity, I'm not going to miss this opportunity, I got to get his attention, 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 
Jesus, I can't walk out the way I came in. I have to get his attention because he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Here I am. I need a miracle for my family. I need a, I need a miracle. I need healing for my past. I need deliverance from this addiction. Jesus. Jesus. You said in your word, turn to me in the day of trouble, and I will deliver you and you honor me. Jesus. And Jesus stopped. Out of all the people, it was the one that had the issue. Anybody got some issues here tonight? Watch it. Tonight's your night. I said, Tonight's your night. Come right up to the Psalter right now. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Anybody else that wants to get it right tonight? Right now. Right now. Anybody else that needs to get it right tonight? Come on. He's here. I said he's here. Right here, right here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Who's on the key? Nobody else. Okay. Just play something real quick. Just anything. Come on. If there's anybody else right now, we're going to wait a couple more minutes. It's not the way you start, it's the way you finish. Those who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Tonight's your night. Let's get it right. His grace is here tonight. His mercy is here tonight. His heart adore you. Hope of a life. Tonight's your night. Tonight's your night. Here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down. Here I am. Just get it right. Let's go. This altar is the tree. Yeah. This is your sycamore tree. And Jesus sees your heart. King of all days, oh so highly exalted, glorious in heaven above.
watch this. I want you to pray this prayer with me. The Bible says, those who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. For some that have given your hearts to the Lord and you've fallen away, the Bible also goes on to say a righteous man falls seven times, but he gets back up. And John talks about, in First John, it talks about John speaking to the church, not to the world, that not that we should, but if we do sin, there is an advocate, there's a mediator. His name is Jesus. In other words, get back up, get it right, get it right, but don't settle there. Hey, don't settle there. Don't you settle there. Don't you settle there. Don't you give up. Don't say that's the way it is. No, 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 no. Keep climbing the tree. Because God sees your heart. When he started to climb the tree, that was his cry. That was his heart. I just want to see Jesus. Salvation came to his house. Don't stop. The Bible says, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name, who forgives all my sins and heals all my diseases. Heals all, forgives all my sins, forgives all my sins, forgives all my sins. Tonight, if you're sincere, he's going to forgive you as far as the east is from the west, giving you a new start. Learn from it, grow from it, and move forward. This is your opportunity tonight. His grace is here. His mercy is here. And by opening up your heart and responding mercy is coming grace is coming to help you in your situation learn from it grow from it and move forward amen and take all your liabilities one of your liabilities has brought you to this place to get right with god see the asset now the liability actually is the thing that brought you here oh how can this be a bad thing right right, right. see god's god is men he's 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 putting the spotlight on your liability so you recognize I need to get right, which now by getting right, by getting right, now it's going to become an asset because you're going to help others to let others know, man, I've been there, I've done it, I, I've fallen a month, but you know what? But God was merciful to me and He forgave me, He'll do the same to you, and now it's going to become an asset and you're going to be stronger. And the next time that thing comes around, that thing that made you trip, you're going to be ready for it, you're going to know the signs. You might say, Pastor, I've been there too many times. Well, you're going to get back up and you're going to get back in and you're going to fight some more. Hey! And if you don't quit, you're going to make it. I said you're not going to just make it. You're going to finish strong for the glory of God. And when you leave this place, be ready. Have your guard up for the temptations and the things that brought you down last time but let go of the past and move forward pray with prayer with me right now let's just all pray once again <sighs> heavenly father i need you i've sinned and i need a savior forgive me of all my sins jesus i ask you to come in my heart wash me with your blood and be lord and savior of my life I believe that those who call upon your name, Jesus, shall be saved. So tonight, I believe, I receive your grace, your mercy, and I believe I've been forgiven, and my best days are ahead. Because you said it, I believed it. That settles it. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Now rise up. Rise up. Amen. Because if you did that, if you sincerely brought it to the feet of Jesus, you can boldly stand up tonight. Don't bring it back up. Get back up and start doing the right thing. Start doing the right thing. Stop talking about what happened yesterday or last week. It's over. Hey, it is over. That tape is over. Don't, don't pick it back up. Move forward. I said move forward. Amen. With freedom, liberty, and the peace of God. Amen. And be the champions that God's called you to be. Amen? Amen? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord.
if you just prayed that for the first time too or if you're just first time here at the church there'll be information in the bookstore on your way out okay at the end of service you guys go back to your seats at this time for the next few minutes amen 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 Ian, I want you guys to get, get, get Gilbert. I want you to sing that song again. Bring him over here because now it has, because some of you didn't get it in the beginning. Some of you need to hear it. No, you just, no, no, no. There's, there's going to be some meaning to this now because some of you are just kind of like going through, the, oh, that was nice. Oh, that was cool. You need to hear the words. I said you need to, and some of you, let me say it like this. And this was not the word. God apprehended me right now before, as we started the service. I was going in a different direction. Watch this. His liability became an asset. See, see, the enemy messes with us and shows us our liability over and over and over and over. You need to give the liability to God and, and watch what God would do with your liability. Let me share a story. I, I, I forgot where I read this story, where I heard this. I've shared it a couple times. I, I, I can't, I'm trying to remember how... It goes, but I just because somebody there was there was a a young man, and he was about to graduate, and he, he was with his father, and his father's like, you know, if you do good grades and all that stuff, you, you know, I'm I'm gonna when you graduate, and you're you know, I'm gonna buy your brand new car. So it was close to graduation. He did his part. So they started looking for cars. They started looking for cars. And anyway, and, 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 and you know, he's kind of pointed out, and he's like, oh, bad, that would that, be great. You know, anyway, long, so long story short, graduation comes. And talking about Christmas right now, right? You know, gift giving time. <laughs> you know, the greatest gift is Jesus, right? It ain't about stuff. Look at somebody say, it ain't about stuff. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me insert this. Let me insert this. And I need everybody's, att I need everybody's attention. No one talking in the sanctuary. Let me insert this. Don't let the world, do not let the world or the people around you pressure you into taking a credit card and owing for the, owing for the rest of your life. It's Christmas. I need to do it because if I don't do that, then they're not going to think I love them. If it's a gift that's physical, that that's how people are connected to you, then you don't need that kind of person next to you. <laughs> now, yes. I need, I need you to be. Now, out of love, it manifests, and we do give people stuff. I always say it like this, though. If I'm going to, you know what, I'm not going to wait for Christmas. If I want to give somebody something, I'll give it two months prior to Christmas. I'll give it in the middle of summer, and I might not give anything on Christmas if I don't feel it. I'm going to give it when I feel it. Amen. Now, what are you saying, Pastor? So you, you don't, you don't, don't you have a, yes, we got a real tree at the house. And it's, and it's an outcast tree. We already talked about that. Amen. It was a little one that's sideways. Amen. It's fun. Praise the Lord. But it ain't about Santa Claus. I know some of you are like, what? Sorry. It's, look at somebody and say, it's not about Santa Claus. It's about Jesus. So what I'm saying is, my sister's great about stuff. You know, she gets creative also during Christmas. But you know it's coming from her heart. So don't go thinking, man, if... If it's not the right title or label or from the, the right store, then it doesn't have a, no, the value comes from the heart. So you can put something together, get creative and give some, uh, the things that have more meaning to me are not the stuff that have value as far as the thing itself. It's who gave it to me and what they put into it. You know, sometimes people give you stuff and it's like, oh, it's the automatic and I, I, you know what, say that. Don't waste your money. Give me the cash instead, amen. Yeah, and that one's like, man, pastor's preaching good tonight. Amen. <laughs> All I'm saying is be a blessing to one another, but don't let the system put you in a place of bondage where you owe money starting the new year. And now you're all stressed because now I paid all this money that I didn't have to buy everybody gifts. And now I owe. And now for the rest of the year, I, I'm working overtime and double time 
to, 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 to pay off all the stuff. And then I do it again. And then I do it again. What a vicious cycle. Are you, are you listening to what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is, but if God does speak to you to get me something, and he says, put it, no, I'm just saying, amen. <laughs> you guys understand what I'm saying. Be a blessing. Bless your families, your children, all that stuff. But don't let the system put you in a situation that puts you in a bondage. And there's other ways, if you're in that situation, to show, you know, your love for one another. You can get very creative. My sister, one time, she's done, like, calendars sometimes. She does calendars, and she puts pictures. She found pictures of all this and stuff like that, and then she puts them together in each month. One time when the Cubs won the, the World Series, right, she took pictures. of So the calendar for, I forget, it was my birthday for Christmas, and then the whole calendar had Cubs stuff for every month. Lou, you got one, too. Yeah, she blessed Lou, too. So what, what was it? Now, that, now that, 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 that gift... Okay, say it again. That was treasure. Right. And what she... Yeah. It comes from the heart. Right. So I'm trying to... This is good teaching right now. So, so she took and put pictures and things of the cubs, and it was a calendar every month. She put it together. It wasn't $1,000. It wasn't $100. It wasn't... It, but man, but it had value because it came from the heart. And it's still... See, there's different ways to do stuff. Amen? I need you guys, guys, last time. Okay, so did you catch that? Okay, praise God. Don't let the system put you in bond. So here's this guy. He's, 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 he's the car that he wants. It's graduation time. And now, and now, time for the gifts. Graduated. Dad gives him this little package. Opens it up. It's a Bible. He's waiting for keys to a car. It's a Bible. It's a Bible. He's thinking, about, wait a second, I thought we just went looking for how you promised me, I got the grades, I did all this stuff. It's a Bible. And immediately he gets upset, throws it to the ground, never speaks to his dad. Years later it goes by. And he comes back to the house for the first time. The reason why was because his dad had passed away, it was a funeral. As he was going through some of the stuff in the house, he finds that Bible, that gift that he got for graduation. Opens up the Bible and starts to, dad had written a special message to him, so proud of you. You know, I know the car was a thing, you know, but something that's got greater value than the car that I want to give you is the word of God because the car is temporary, but this is eternal. And he wrote a whole thing. I'm so proud of you. But at the same time, at the end of it, there was a check. And he goes, here's a cashier's check for the amount of the car that you liked and you saw. Do you understand? In this place tonight, God won't release me. Because we're going to have one more altar call in just a few minutes. Jesus is here, Amen. and some of you still have not started towards your sycamore tree. Your answer, your victory, your breakthrough, the thing that's going to bring peace, you think is this or that? But God wants to give you something for some, something far greater than what's temporary or what you... Some of you think, man, if I just win the... Man, it's great, Pastor, but I need about this much money. That ain't going to solve any. That's just a Band-Aid for a moment. And for some of you, if you did get what you wanted money-wise, it would take you even further down because you couldn't handle it anyway. You don't know how to handle that cash. Are you all right by what I just said right now? I mean, there is no other way to say that. Some of you, if God gave you what you wanted in... In, 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 in money, it would cause you to go further into a pit and probably take your life because you would blow it like that on your addiction or that thing or the, your idol. Yeah. See, the idol can come in different ways. It could be gambling. It could be a relationship that's out of God. For some, where you're so uncomfortable right now, and you're thinking this is the worst thing that ever happened. This is the best thing that ever happened to you because 
you're coming to your senses you're starting to feel again to see again because you can see or feel now you're starting to feel things and like oh man this is like wow yeah because now the fog you have you heard that right the fog is gone because you're sober and you're clean but man i'm in a situation where if i just had I, I just, I'm, 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 I'm sharing a room with somebody and I'm under a structure and people are telling me what to do. It's like, man, I'm good now. I just, if I could just have, man, if you got what you're asking for right now, you're still not strong enough. This is a word for somebody that needs to hear this. You're still not strong enough. If that money was put in your hands, you'd end up back on the street at that corner buying more drugs. You're not there yet. That is a word for somebody. Can we keep it real? That's an honest word. It is real. What you need is the peace of God. The presence of God. The lottery ain't going to solve nothing. Jesus is going to settle and, 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 and solve all your problems. It doesn't mean you're not going to have them but you'll be able to go through. You can be in a valley or a mountaintop, but with Jesus, you'll have peace. You'll have victory. Let me put it like this. With Jesus, you can have less and have more. Man, I just said, I just said a whole lot. You better hear that word. With him, you can have less, but actually have more. Sleep at night, wake up in the morning with a smile on your face. In Jesus' name. The Bible, he put it down. That's the God we serve, not just enough, but more than enough. Because he also gives us the desires of our hearts. But those desires become our desires because they're his desires is a byproduct of spending time with him. He knows what you need when you need it and when you can handle it also. Be happy with where you're at. Jesus is here. He's not passing through. He's still here. And some of you still have not started to even look at the tree. But you have another opportunity because God will not release me tonight. Don't leave the same way you came in. That's how much God loves you. That he won't let me continue or go in the direction I was going in because, and it might be for one more person here tonight. I want to say it like this. You want to come up right now? Well, I'm, I'm going to do one more. I was going to, but yeah, come on up right now. Amen. Come here, come here, come here. It's all right. You know why that's all right? Because that's the Lord. That's okay. But I know the guy was saying one more. I was going to have actually a worship song, but we don't need a worship song right now. Is there anybody else that needs to be up here right now? Your answer is Jesus. Your breakthrough is Jesus. Your turnaround is Jesus. Come on, don't miss this. Just come. Just come. He sees your heart. He sees your heart. Did you see these hearts tonight?
is if called upon your name tonight, just like Zacchaeus on the sycamore tree, you called him down, went to his house, and salvation came to that house. Miracle. Whatever the need, whatever everyone's going through here at this altar, I pray when they go back to their homes, their houses, their living situation, their week, that that house, that week, that structure will never be the same again. That you will touch everything that is connected to them. Family, house, work, everything, everything, everything. Liberty, healing, breakthrough for your glory. For your glory. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Do what only you can do, Lord, for your glory. We believe you are still in the healing business. You're still in the delivering business. You're still in the restoring business. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, yeah, pray for him right there. Just pray for him. Just whatever God puts on your heart. Gail, quickly. Gail, come on. Veronica, come, 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 quickly. Quick, pray with our sister here at the end. Charlie, pray with the guys right here. Just for a second, just for a second. I'm going to pray right now. Hallelujah. Say these words, God. 